Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Lashes Online, and Victoria is back with you. In this episode 1 we'll be creating a wet look lash, which is very popular lately. The first request from the girl was to make the most uneven eyelash line, it's not her first time with wet look, we decided to add to the top row of wispy on one length longer than the main length, that is, if in the outer corner I build up 12 length, the wispy above this length will be 13 and so the whole eye. We choose fox effect, I decided to do more of length 12, compared to others, as the girl initially asked for long lashes, and on the rest of the eye evenly distributed lengths from 11 to 6. The eyelashes were chosen in the curl C, the girl has natural eyelashes curled, so visually the curl C on her looks almost like D, the color of the eyelashes brown and hybrid volume 1, 5. I do not draw wispy on the map, because I do not see any point in it, all you need to do is to increase the wispy on one or two lengths more than drawn on the map. They usually discuss the number of wispy with the client, sometimes they can be 30 on the whole eye and sometimes 15, I show photos so that the client can see what she likes better. With this girl I glue wispy at a distance of 2 to 3 millimeters from each other, and glue them on the top row of eyelashes, at the end of the work I use a mirror to see how the wispy are located, and if I am somewhere there are not enough of them, I can still add in some places. Now I'd like to tell you how the wet look lash is created, the main thing you should know is that this effect combines closed and open fans. That is, you just get a lot of the best all over the eye, it is even easier and faster than doing a double volume. Variants of the wet look can be many, the simplest option is when you build up a closed fan and open fan in turn. One time I had a girl who has built up all the closed double fans. You can do it that way, too. Today for this girl I create one and a hybrid volume, so I will build up a closed fan then one eyelash, then again closed fan, sometimes I will add open fans, where there will be not be enough volume. Since the color of the eyelash is brown, the wet look is not expressed, here is an example photo of the wet look in black eyelashes, looks quite bright. Another option when doing the wet look you can mix lengths, for example, closed fan you take one length more than open. This is done so that the eyelash line becomes uneven. Recently, clients often ask for an uneven lash line, so you can do wet look and combine lengths. Another variant of the wet look, when we add triple wispy, I recommend to do this extension only on long and dense native eyelashes, that it was not hard to walk with such an extension. And I advise triple wispy build up not everywhere, but for example combined with double fans. In this work at the transition from one length to another I do not make the transition, again this is because we need to make an uneven eyelash line.
At the end of the work I usually do a check on the glue and detachments, never skip this stage, as even one glue can cause discomfort and if the client because of this will strongly rub the eye, then by accident will tear out the artificial eyelashes along with the natural ones. Time-wise wet look is done faster than the usual extension. I do not charge extra for extensions in this effect, but I know that some masters have a higher price, as for example, and for the effect of Kylie. Do not be afraid to experiment in the wet look. You can come up with a lot of different options, it already depends on your imagination. If you have any questions, write in the comments, I will answer them all. I hope this video was useful for you, subscribe to the channel, click like and see you soon.